Welcome to this short act of worship from the Link Charge of St Andrew's Hope Park in Martyrs with Strathkinnis. Again, we cannot meet in the church building, so whether you're listening online or joining in by telephone, you're most welcome. Our worship will include a reading by Bev Brown, a reflection, a prayer, and at the beginning and end, a hymn. Please sing along if you wish. The first hymn is 96, played by David Fisher and sung by Connor Going, and at the end, hymn 97, played by Callum MacLeod. Both are based on Psalm 139, the psalm for today. In January, the daylight is still in short supply. I invite you to remember the lit candle that sits on the communion table, a sign that Christ is the light of the world, and that light never falters never fades. The psalmist says, how good it is to sing psalms to our God, how pleasant and right to praise him. Now Psalm 139, found at hymn 96, I encourage you to join in at home. Hymn 96, you are before me God, you are behind. Continue our worship of of God and listen to verses from Psalm 139, verses 1 to 6 and then verses 13 to 18. Psalm 139, verses 1 to 6 and then 13 to 18. Listen for the word of God. Lord, you have examined me and you know me. You know me at rest and in action. You discern my thoughts from afar. You trace my journeying and my resting places and are familiar with all the paths I take. For there is not a word that I speak, but you, Lord, know all about it. You keep close guard behind and before me and place your hand upon me. Knowledge so wonderful is beyond my grasp. It is so lofty I cannot reach it. You it was who fashioned my inward parts, 
you knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for you fill me with awe. Wonderful you are, and wonderful your works. You know me through and through. My body was no mystery to you when I was formed in secret, woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes foresaw my deeds, and they were all recorded in your book. My life was fashioned before it had come into being. How mysterious, God, are your thoughts to me. How vast in number they are. Were I to try counting them, they would be more than the grains of sand. To finish the count, my years must equal yours. Amen. Today our focus is on the Psalms. Earlier this week I attended the Scottish Church Theology Society annual conference. It's usually around this time each year and I try my best to attend. And as the years have passed, a range of different topics have been covered. Some years the topic interests me more than others, but each year I learn new things. This year the theme was celebrating the Psalms, so I make no apology about focusing on Psalms today, especially since the given Psalm for today is 139 and, as some of you may remember, one of my favourites. Since the conference was online rather than in person, two of the three speakers were from other parts of the United Kingdom. So it was good to have people from different places there. Another positive benefit was those who couldn't normally attend were able to manage their home responsibilities and still listen to the lectures. The first speaker was Professor Susan Gillingham, who used to teach Hebrew Bible at Oxford University. She spoke about Psalms and their importance to both Jews and Christians, although each would use them differently and each see different ones as more significant to their faith tradition. The Psalms cover a period spanning 700 to 800 years of Israel's history. Many rabbis would have memorised them all, hence it was likely Jesus knew them word for word. Words important to him and words still important and meaningful today. Words that deal with praise and lament, hymns about the creation, historical psalms, pilgrimage psalms, we find penitence, thanksgiving. They're not in chronological order, but there is an order. Generally speaking, they start with complaint and prayer and end with optimistic songs of praise. If you are looking for a psalm for lockdown, what better than Psalm 137? By the rivers of Babylon we sat down and wept, as we remembered Zion. On the willow trees there we hung our lyres. Psalms shared by Jews and Christians, but valued and used in different ways. We generally think of Psalms of David, David the author but some were really psalms for or in honour of David. Rowan Williams, former Archbishop of Canterbury and now retired to Wales, was the second speaker and he spoke on Augustine and the psalms. Augustine of Hippo, alive in the 4th century, above all other ancient clerics, dealt with the psalms more thoroughly than almost everyone else near him in time. Indeed, he preached through them. We may have a favourite psalm or a few favourites. Finally, John Bell from the Iona community spoke about the psalms and Scotland. I certainly learned new things from the three contributors. In the question and answer session with John Bell, I came to realise that in the past, at one point, the psalms in Scotland were sung to only around 10 tunes, ones the presenters liked and remembered. Imagine going to church each week and all you would sing were psalms and these to only 10 tunes. It must have become quite repetitive. And while sometimes the rhyming and the metre worked for some psalms, for others it was not particularly satisfactory, to put it mildly. So more modern hymn writers try their best to marry the way the words are written with the way the composed or selected tune sounds, 
so that they complement each other, so that the net effect becomes greater than the value of each individual part, words or melody. An earliest example of this progression, which works better than some of the centuries-old interpretations, was our first hymn, 96, based on Psalm 139, the psalm which Bev read, You are before me, God, you are behind. Since I was young, I've enjoyed singing that hymn. But then if you turn the page of the hymn book, an even more modern version of that psalm by Bernadette Farrell. I'll read her words, but if you have your hymn book handy, you can follow along and indeed shortly sing as it's played. Let me read the words now. Hymn 97. O God, you search me and you know me. All my thoughts lie open to your gaze. When I walk or lie down, you are before me, ever the maker and keeper of my days. You know my resting and my rising. You discern my purpose from afar. And with love everlasting, you besiege me in every moment of life or death you are. Before a word is on my tongue, Lord, you have known its meaning through and through. You are with me beyond my understanding, God of my present, my past and future too. Although your spirit is upon me, still I search for shelter from your light. There is nowhere on earth I can escape you. Even the darkness is radiant in your sight. For you created me and shaped me, gave me life within my mother's womb. For the wonder of who I am, I praise you. Safe in your hands, all creation is made new. Well-crafted words and with beautifully composed music, the whole becomes moving and meaningful. It offers a strong, positive sense of a creator God who knows us intimately. Indeed, when I arrived at Hope Park and Martyrs in Strathkinis back in 2011, I was allowed to choose one hymn at the induction service and this was the hymn I selected. The Book of Psalms such a varied book. In Scotland it holds a rich place in the life of the church and the nation, particularly in recent centuries. I encourage you to go then and read them and be drawn into a rich tapestry of emotions and leave the experience knowing previous pilgrims of different faiths have trodden the path of life just as we do today through all its ups and downs, people not afraid to be honest to God. If we too were totally honest, sharing our hopes and fears and thanksgiving in our prayer life, I think it may help us. And anyway, as Psalm 139 reminds us, there is not a word that I speak, but you, Lord, know all about it. Amen. Let those who seek the Lord be joyful in heart. Look to the Lord and be strong. At all times seek his presence. Let us pray. Gracious God, you have been our constant companion through all the ups and downs of life, from times of praise to times of sorrow or despair, as well as times of great joy. We give thanks for the words of the Psalms that so accurately demonstrate the breadth of human experience and how they allow us to appreciate that however we feel, Someone at some other time has felt similarly. So in silence, we express to you how we feel today. Lord, hear our prayer. We are in lockdown once more. Restrictions tightened further yesterday. And so we pray particularly for all those finding these days hard for parents trying to work from home and do homeschooling, for those struggling to put food on the table or worrying about their jobs or debts, for those who feel lonely or depressed or bereaved. You know how they feel. Minister to their needs, we pray. 
We pray for those who are ill or in hospital, for those whose treatments have been postponed, for those receiving critical care, for everyone who has to go out to work to keep society operating. Lord, support and strengthen them. Tomorrow sees the start of the week of prayer for Christian unity. So we pray for all the churches in our communities. The psalmist reminds us how good and pleasant it is to live together in unity. Wednesday sees the presidential inauguration in the United States. May peace reign and may your will be followed. The Lord's Prayer Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Now the tune by Bernadette Farrell set to the words I read from Psalm 139. Please sing along if you wish as Callum plays hymn 97. O God, you search me and you know me. Hymn 97. <laughs> This week there will be a Zoom social on Wednesday the 20th of January at 7 o'clock, the first of the new year and a quiz to kick this year's meetings off. A reminder for elders that there will be a kick session meet a meeting via Zoom at 7 o'clock this Thursday the 21st of January. Please take care and stay safe. The Benediction Wherever we are now, however we feel, May we know unity among us, and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be with you all, now and evermore. Amen. <laughs>